Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Divine Masculine reading for Sunday. So we're going to use the secret language of animals oracle cards today. So what power animals are around them and why and what do we need to know? So thank you angels. Let's get a message for their 3D self. Well, there's a card in here. You know I do this so many times. I don't know they're in there because I put them back. So this has clearly got a message as well for us. So let's get a message from their 3D self. And a message from their 5D self. A message from their 5D self. Here we go. Okay. And what I'm feeling, there's a lot of movement going on outside as well. People walking around, changes. But whenever I get a card mixed in like this, you know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that this can happen quite regularly with me because I use lots of decks of cards during a reading. And sometimes when I'm putting them back, my mind's on something else. And I, you know, I may pop one in another deck by mistake but there's no mistakes it always comes forth at the right time so clearly there's a message here which is really exciting so the message is look at this we've got forgiveness it says let the past go clear your heart and mind through forgiveness wow so clearly there's a message here today about forgiving our twin and also about forgiving ourselves because when we forgive ourselves, we heal so i feel the masculines today are forgiving themselves for the things they've done so they can move forward. And they're letting the past go so they can focus on the now and building the future. They want to clear their heart and minds of the things they've done, of the past, of the pain. So a big message here, Divine Feminine, to forgive your twin, but also to forgive the situation and to forgive yourself. So a little bonus message there too. So in the physical world, in his 3D reality, Wow, look at this. We've got the lion. It says power, loyalty, leadership, family. So what I'm feeling in the physical world is he's taking control of his life. Now, the lion is the king of the jungle. And we've been speaking about how it's really powerful now the king has took the throne in the UK. And it's about, you know, the masculine stepping into their power. And it's like Aslan coming to Narnia. And when Aslan comes to Narnia... The coolness of the, the winter begins to fade and the beautiful springtime comes in. So the snow begins to melt and the flowers begin to bloom. And that's what I'm feeling here. The masculines are stepping into their power so they can melt the ice. And that means so they can open their heart to you, you know, tell you exactly how they feel, be open and honest and remove things that are in the way. You know, I've got a hair here that's in the way. So I'm going to move that out of the way. So they can see more clearly. They're removing things out of their life so they can be more constant in your life. Now, there may also be a Leo connection here. But what I'm feeling is since the Lion's Gate portal, you know, that's opened and we're still feeling and, and going through the benefits of it now. So the Lion is power. So there may be a Leo connection for you or your twin, but that's just a bonus message. This is saying to you, the mask is like the mask is saying to you, I am loyal to you. I am taking back my power to be with you. I want to become a leader, the leader I was born to be. And I want to have family with you. I want to create a life with you. Now, he may already have a family and he's taken ownership of that family and he's a leader in that family. But he's also showing you that he will remain loyal to his children but he is fully intending to take back his power to change his life. So I feel this is also the power of karmic endings. And we've got the number 11. So I feel he's seen 11, 11, because that's also about awakenings. But there's also a message in here about November. And they're already giving me messages coming through about this September and October are about months of bringing things up to the surface, things being brought forth into our awareness, illumination. And I've just spoke a little bit about this in the Divine Feminine reading. But it's about things coming up. That it's like the masculines are resurfacing. They're coming up for air. They're breathing again. And November is bringing in karmic endings. So there's going to be a time between November and January of karmic endings. And the masculines are preparing for this. They have to gain that courage and that wisdom. So you may think in the past your masculine has been a bit of a coward. But really, he's been a cowardly lion and he's getting his heart back. You're his heart. And, you know, he's getting his strength and his courage so he can move towards you. 
and be the leader he's come here to be. And he's saying to you, I am loyal to you. No matter how things seem, I do want a family with you. No matter how things are. And I am taking back my power to get this done. So the lion spirit is around the masculine's physical world. So if you start seeing lions, or maybe if your masculine posts a picture of a lion, or talks about lions, or wears a shirt with lions on, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see what George wears because he's got lion um, t-shirts. And it's the power of how the universe shows us the way. Now, in his 5D self, his higher self, look at this, we've got the B. And, you know, there's no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. It says creativity, purpose, harvest, devotion. So the B is a great symbol of a miracle. And we've got the number 31. And this is about have faith in this new beginning. So the masculine is showing you his higher self is guiding towards communication and a miracle. Because the B is a great symbol of communication. And it's also a great sign of miracles on the way. So miracle communication ahead. He's going to get creative about how he can communicate with you because that's his purpose. He wants to reap the harvest and he wants to devote his time on this connection. So he's becoming more devoted. He's more focused now on making things happen because this is also part of his purpose as a creative being. And his mind is becoming more creative too, giving him more creative tools about how to move forward and what changes to make. And this is really powerful because they're also giving me, you know, during this month as well, between the 11th and the 31st, there's been a lot of power flowing in. And you felt that too, you know, big changes which you can feel even if you can't yet see. It. So you may see bees as a spiritual symbol of communication ahead and miracles. Beautiful. You know, so here's the bee again. So you can see bees on t-shirts, mugs, cups. Maybe you see a real bee, you know, flying around you. Maybe it flies in the house. Maybe it dive bombs you. Or you're watching a show and there's a bee in there. Or you can hear the buzzing noise or something. Different than wasps, okay? Wasps are connected with anger. If you're seeing wasps, there's anger being released in the connection. So it's always best to let things breathe if there's wasps around because, you know, the masculines may be in a volatile energy and they may take things out on you. But remember, whenever that happens, you're learning to not take things personally. But the message is forgive, let the past go. OK, clear your heart and mind through forgiveness because the masculine is stepping into the lion energy. He's showing you in his physical world, he is doing something about this love. Because he's the king of the jungle. He's your king. He's your emperor. And the B is what he's been guided to do. Become more creative. To focus on mission and purpose. To become that leader. And to create the great harvest through devotion. So he's more focused on making it real. So that's what's happening. So if you've seen lions or bees today, you know why. And also a great symbol of forgiveness to breathe and trust the journey and know that everything is falling into place. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.